I'm Gail Skafronik Jackson, the Global Precipitation Measurement Project Scientist. This is a great data set that has recently been delivered by the Global Precipitation Measurement Team. It shows that we are able to measure both the regional scale and the global scales of precipitation at a very fine temporal resolution every 30 minutes. iMERGE provides high resolution data, 10 kilometers by 10 kilometers, about the size of a suburb of a city. I'm George Huffman. I'm the deputy project scientist for the GPM mission. What this new data set does is to look under the clouds and see what the precipitation is doing. This is a new effort and considerably more difficult than the cloud maps. In the northern hemisphere, we have a summer season, but in the southern hemisphere, you see a winter season. And during the winter season, we all expect to see snow. And as you can see in the blue colored part, we are actually getting snow from these algorithms that are estimating falling snow from space. In particular, I really appreciated looking at the Southern Ocean. That is the band of ocean that runs south of South America, Africa, and Australia. When you look at the Southern Ocean, you see these numerous swirls. There's very little land to get in the way. And as a result, these storms just swirl around Antarctica continually. In the tropics near the equator, the precipitation tends to run from east to west. And it's very, what we call convective. A lot of splotchy stuff that comes and goes quickly. The rain that falls over your backyard might actually affect the people in Europe as the storms go across the Atlantic Ocean. They might affect the tropical rains, and all of the precipitation is interrelated all around the globe. 